Let's talk about frozen shoulder. The fancy term for it is adhesive capsulitis. Essentially, the condition is, the frozen shoulder is a very literal description of it. It will feel like your shoulder is frozen and you can't move it. This means some people, it, this is it. This is as high as they can move their arm. There are people who be like, and, and, that will start to lift it up to here and then this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna go to here to pick up something. It simply is frozen in place. It no longer articulates and moves, right? And the shoulder is actually our most flexible joint range of motion wise. Having it frozen is really bad and tremendously um, has a really big impact on your life in a negative way because things we take for granted, like brushing our hair, washing our hair, reaching in the pantry, you can't do. You might need only with one arm or ask someone to help you. How about getting dressed in the morning? Ugh. Okay, so let's talk about fascia and frozen shoulder. So this is a very, very good depiction of how frozen shoulder, specifically people who are kept getting treated at that frozen shoulder, literally for months, sometimes over that, sometimes year, multi-year, nothing's really budging. They're like, yeah, it's great. It now goes to here. I'm like, oh, okay. If you keep treating that area and you're not getting the result, it might be a symptom and not the root cause. So let's look for that root cause. So I want you to look at this fascia train here. And you can see that there is this fascia train that goes all the way from the bottom of your foot to your hip. And guess what? It sneaks up into your shoulder blade. It literally controls, attaches to the muscles, serratus anterior and rhomboid that literally connect to your shoulder blade. Okay, so can you imagine if there's, if you keep treating here, but the issue is actually coming from here, you're not gonna get that solution you're looking for. One person who flew in to work with us, um, uh, as she was doing the consult with me via video, her next option before working with us, is they were gonna go in surgically and cut pieces of the muscle to enable her, to give her more range of motion. Oh, right? So let's talk about this. Let me give you a visual demonstration. So imagine I've got that shoulder that doesn't move, but really what's going on is I've got this restriction over here in my connective tissue, okay? That goes, this is really interesting. It's gonna start actually, this fascia train is gonna start at my right neck, sneak around to my left shoulder blade, and go to my hip. And very often this person, I'm gonna see them in a video consult and they're gonna look like this and they have a shoulder issue. The key is to open up that issue all the way down from the foot, from the hip, and all of a sudden free up that person's shoulder, okay? So again, tremendously effective. SSD is tremendously effective at treating Adhesive capsulitis, specifically for those who have tried everything in the kitchen sink and the arm still does not move and hurts like hell. So yes, this shoulder issue can simply be a symptom of what's coming from the hip. Well, not just simply. I'm not gonna argue that there's going to be some imaging of possible arthritis, even osteoarthritis and all sorts of bursitis, tendonitis, and the kitchen sink in there because when you've got this pull across your whole body and your fascial trains, it's going to lock this joint into positions that as you've tried to move it before, it locked down on you saying, I can't deal with this anymore. You are going to be wearing and tearing on things in there. So there's very much so an issue in there, but you're not going to fix it by going here. Okay, we can resolve this issue by going at the root cause. That's the key.